So in the last class, uh, I was dealing with uh, extension teaching methods, then uh, classification of uh, extension teaching methods. Extension teaching methods can be classified in two ways, based on the use and based on the power. So based on the use, the extension teaching methods can be classified into individual contact methods, group contact methods, mass contact methods. And uh, based on the nature, based on the form, the extension teaching methods can be classified into written form, spoken form, visual form, and audio, audio visual form. So these things I have already covered in the last class. So this is the classification chart. This also I covered. So these are the uh, examples of uh, individual contact methods. Uh, these are the examples of individual contact methods. These things I have already covered in the last class. In the, uh, this is individual contact methods, examples. Group contact methods, these are the examples. Mass contact methods, these are the examples. Then uh, classification of extension teaching methods according to form. So written forms, these are the examples. Spoken forms, these are the examples. Visual forms, these are the examples. Audio visual forms, these are the examples. So these all these things I have quoted already in the last class. So let us see, as I told you, uh, individual contact methods in detail. Hmm? So there are uh, seven uh, individual contact methods. Mm, uh, so out of seven, only four, first four are included in your syllabus for detailed discussion. So let us see one by one. As I told you already, individual contact methods are the methods used to communicate the farmers individually, either at his field or at his home. Hmm? So these are the individual contact methods, farm and home visit, result demonstration, whole farm demonstration, farm trial or field trial, office call, telephone call, and personal letters. Hmm? So let us see one by one in this, uh, these individual contact methods. First one is farm and home visit. Hmm? So farm and home visit, what it is? It is a face-to-face -face contact made by the extension worker, hmm? or it is a direct contact made by the extension worker with the farmer or the members of his family, either on farm or at his home, for the specific purposes connected with extension worker. Hmm? In simple, farm and home visit is a direct contact made by the extension worker with the farmer either at his home or at his field with his family members, hmm? which is the farmer or with his family members for the purpose of specific extension work. So it can be also defined as it is the direct contact, farm and home it is a direct contact made by the extension worker with the farmers or members of his family at his home or on his farm for specific purpose. So it is a very simple definition. It is a direct contact. Farm and home is a direct contact made by extension worker with the farmer or members of his family at his home or on his farm for the specific purpose. So in simple, farm and home is it is direct contact made by the extension worker with the farmer at his home or at his field. Objective, objectives of farm and home Egypt are why Egypt? To get uh, first objective is to get acquaint with with and gain confidence of the farmers. To get acquaint means to get familiar with the. It is one of the best method to get acquaint with the farmers or farm family and gain confidence of the farmers. And it is one of the best method to build confidence of the farmer on the extension work because here you are directly going to the meeting the farmers either at his field or at his home and giving inform required information to the farmers and clarifying his doubt. So that is why it is one of the best method to build the confidence of the farmer on the extension worker. Hmm? Second objective is to give and or obtain first-hand information on the matters related to farm. It is one of the best method to give 
first hand information to the farmers no middlemen are in, involved here you can directly give information so that is nothing but first hand information and also you can obtain first hand information from the farmers also you can directly see the condition of the farmer condition of the field condition of the crop huh? directly so you get first hand information about the existing condition of the farmer hmm? so it is one of the best method to give or obtain and or obtain first hand information on the matter related to farm and home visit hmm? then to discuss individual or village problems so this is one of the best method to discuss the problems individual problems whereas in case of group contact methods it is not possible in other methods so here you can directly discuss with the farmers about his problems or village problems one of the best method to discuss the or solve the individual problems then fourth one is to arouse interest in the problems which the farmers has not recognized so here in this method you can help the farmers what are the problems you are facing in the field you can show for example if he is growing maize crop so what are the problems in the maize in the existing crop you can show the symptoms of the deficiencies in the crop or any pest in the crops because sometimes the farmers may not recognize so you can assist the farmers or you can teach the farmers what are the problems existing problems in the field thereby you can arouse interest in the farmers to more to know more and more about the improved cultivation practices then next objective is to promote good public relations it is one of the best method to develop good public relations huh, with the farmers since you are directly meeting the farmers and discussing with him sharing the ideas related to the particular farmers so thereby you can develop good public relations then to teach skills and to teach their and to change their attitude it is one of the best method to teach the skills so through other methods to through radio through tv through newspaper so you cannot teach the skills here since you are directly meeting the farmers you can teach him the skills out for example how to treat the seeds with rhizobium how to prepare the compost pot or how to prepare the vermi compost pit so these involve some skills so these things you can directly teach the farmers and also you can change their attitudes by clarifying the some of the doubts directly to the farmers you can change their attitudes to teach skills and to change their attitudes these are the objectives of or mind home visit then procedure how to conduct huh, an effective farm in home visit hmm? here are the, the procedure involves three steps hmm? first one is plan the visit first phase or first step is plan the visit second is conduct the visit then follow up the visit first one is you should plan the visit then conduct the visit then follow up the visit so let us see one by one first one is plan the visit hmm? first of all it is necessary to have clear idea with clear idea of what is to be hoped to attain by making the visit hmm? so first of all you should have clear idea before going to visit you should have some clear idea what you are going to do what you want to achieve hmm? or what subject you want to what information you want to give him hmm? you should have clear idea hmm? then that is clear clarify the doubts clarify the purpose clear your purpose what purpose hmm? you are going simply you are, don't uh, go to the so uh, don't visit the farmers otherwise you lose your confidence hmm? so plus uh, clarify your visit clarify the purpose then review the previous contact made if any hmm, with the farm family review if you have any contact made before this visit so what uh, when you visited and what information you have given or any questions or any information uh, asked by the farmers review previous contacts made 
if any with the with the form or with the members of the family then check subject matter or information needed suppose if you are going to visit the uh, field hmm, to solve some of the problems if the farmer is facing some problem in the maize crop or some problem in the soybean crop hmm, he has requested to visit you hmm, on such and uh, on such problems so check the subject map before going to meet him before going to visit sub check subject matter or information needed simply don't visit hmm? so please check the matter what information you are going to give hmm? then work out the schedule of visit to save the time and so schedule your visit consult the farmers over phone or through letter correspondence and schedule your visit work out the schedule of visit to save time and travel hmm? without informing the farmers if you go to the village if the if is not available so uh, there will be a uh, there will be a uh, waste of time and travel consider best approach in uh, viewing of uh, individual family situation consider best approach well that means whether to meet the farmers in the field or whether to meet the farmer in the field looking to the problem suppose if he has if he is required information on the particular crop it is better to meet him in the field then whenever possible take an appointment with the farmer to ensure his presence hmm? so it is uh, uh, better to uh, take the appointment with the farmers to ensure his presence hmm? with the appointment only you should go so that you can ensure his presence then carry literature whenever you are giving some inform going to give some information carry related literature if it is available so that he can <coughs> after the visit is over you can give the literature so that he can refer in the future uh, whenever he requires this is about plan the visit phase second phase is second step is conduct the visit after planning conduct conduct the visit so in the during the conduct of the visit develop the conversation on the interested topic that means you should start the conversation with the farmers in his interested topic so usually the farmers are interested in the so rainfall situation or crop condition or market so on that aspect you should start the so that he, the farmers feels that the extension worker is concerned about our <coughs> problems develop conversation for example mali agete illa ee varsha so yestu patti mali agide yav beli belibeku anta madidiri aa tara so like this develop conversation on interested topic <coughs> allow the farmers do most of the talking allow the farmers do most of the talking and do not interrupt so let the farmers to complete to express his ideas hmm? allow him to talk hmm? allow him to complete his talk let the farmers do most of talking speak only when he is willing to hear hmm? so you should interact only when he is to unnecessarily don't interrupt hmm? so talk in terms of his interest and so you should interact only in uh, in his interest don't don't talk Uh, against his interest hmm? so be accurate in your statements hmm? be accurate hmm? whenever you are giving whenever you are talking to the farmers be accurate don't talk unnecessary uh, information unnecessarily do not prolong or don't argue with the farmers you go in according in line and length of the farmers hmm? be sincere in learning as well as teaching first you should listen to the farmers you should be a good listener so based on the listening first you should listen to the farmers based on the his views his expressions you can teach so be friendly be sympathetic and be complimentary with the farmers arouse interest and create desire to take action arouse interest and create a desire to so arouse interest 
in the subject arouse the interest of the farmers in the subject so this is the information so by adopting this information it is going to increase the yield or it is going to reduce the cost and arouse interest so as i told you know in the steps steps in teaching hmm? interest phase hmm? uh, desire stage desire step like this hmm? arouse interest and create desire to take action use natural and easy language speak slowly and carefully don't make hmm, show off hmm? if possible endure the extension literature pertaining to the topic discussed hmm? so at appropriate stage you should endure the literature hmm, taken by you hmm, related to the topic discussed hmm? or packet of seeds if necessary hmm? if necessary sometimes if you are uh giving information on the new variety hmm? new variety of soybean or improved variety of soybean so you can give uh, a small quantity of seeds on free of cost so that you can develop some confidence so it, this will help in developing the friendship hmm? then record the date of visit purpose accomplishments and commitments hmm? so record everything thank the farmer for his cooperation and exchange of ideas that means at the end you should uh, extend your thanks for uh, giving an opportunity to discuss with him then compliment the farmers for good ideas compliment the farmers thank the farmers for giving good ideas or for sharing the good ideas leave the farm or home as a good friend this is conducting phase then follow up visit follow up the visit this is third phase follow up visit means after the visit you should uh, take up some necessary follow up activities suppose if you have assured suppose if you have assured some uh, assurance to the farmers so i am going to give some seeds or i am going to give more literature um, or i am going to give you some other information so that you should give in the follow up visit send applicable literature or other things by post or otherwise and or personally extend invitation to attend the meeting or extension programs hmm? so extend the uh, invitation to attend the krishi mela or to attend the training program if some training program is going on in the university our krishi mela is going on in so extend invitation extend invitation to attend a meeting or extension program like krishi mela field day if any on the concerned subject hmm? so there so that you can keep in touch with the farmers make subsequent visits if and when required hmm? so make some other visits hmm? to see what extent the farmers adopted the practices thereby you can develop good friendship and good confidence of the farmers then points to be considered while employing this method some of the points you should keep in mind for is for effective farm and home visit it should be it should be made with definite purpose your 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 visit should be with some definite purpose that you should visit the farmers field with definite subject Hmm? so don't uh, visit uh, without any purpose hmm? so amele enattar avaru eno sum bartana hogutan bidu appa anta anta agbardu don't the farmers should not talk lightly you should visit the farmers home or visit with definite purpose that means to give some specific information or to solve some of the problems punctuality and consideration of the time of farmer should always be borne in mind punctuality and consideration of the uh, punctuality of the farmers hmm? timeliness of the farmers hmm? punctuality and consideration of the time of farmer should always be borne in mind that is try to meet the farmers preferably when he is at work thereby you can uh, see the uh, what problems he is facing what are the practices he is adopting what are the practices he is not adopting there only you can convince him schedule of visit should be worked out to save the time hmm? as i told you know 
you should uh, plan the visit thereby you can save your time as well as travel if you plan uh, the visit well in advance so that the farmer is available at his home or field hmm? remote and unfrequented farms and homes should be kept in mind try to visit the farmers located in the remote areas hmm? sometimes the farmers are located in the remote areas or interior places so the extension workers are not visiting hmm, there frequently so you should select such farmers hmm? then use this method to enforce the other method use this method to enforce other methods hmm? that means for example if you have asked the farmers to conduct some demonstrations hmm? demonstration on so i have been variety improved so i have been measured hmm? so through this method you can visit the demonstration plot and uh, uh, reinforce the farmers convince the farmers to conduct the tour to take up some of the practice use this method to reinforce the other method suppose if you have selected image a demonstrator if he is conducting demonstrating during the conduct of the demonstration plot you can visit the plot frequently through farm and home visit hmm. next is advantages of farm and home visit these are the advantages first and knowledge of the rural people is gained it is one of the best method to gain the first hand knowledge of the rural people and their condition good will is developed it is one of the best method to develop good will hmm, about the extension worker hmm. since you are directly interacting with the farmers hmm, you are clarifying his doubts you can solve his problems directly so thereby you can develop good will about the extension worker about the uh, extension work as well as about the government agencies extension workers develop confidence when his recommendations are adopted more and extension workers develop it is one of the best method to develop confidence of the extension worker if his recommendations if his recommendations are adopted by the farmers more and more if his recommendations are practical and useful so the extension worker develop confidence helps in selection of better leaders or demonstrator it is one of the best method to select the leader or demonstrator sometimes you need uh, demonstrator good farmer ideal farmer for conducting the demonstration in the village so through individual contact methods you can identify since you can directly see the farmers you can directly interact with the farmers you can directly see is the, their conditions field conditions his facilities everything so helps in selection of better leaders or demonstrators the interest of the people the interest of the people in government services is stimulated if you give useful information to the farmers during your visit so uh, it helps in developing interest in the government services farmers not reached by other methods are contacted sometimes you cannot reach the farmers by other methods through sometimes you cannot reach the farmers through radio farmers through tv farmers through newspaper farmers through training so it is one of the best method to reach wherever he may be located farmers not reached by other methods hmm, are contacted hmm. the percentage of takes to the exposure rendered is high the percentage of acceptance of the information is more here since you are directly giving the information to the farmers hmm? they hmm, are giving the information and you can clarify their doubts hmm? and they can clarify their usefulness so thereby the percentage of takes percentage of acceptance of the information to exposure Hmm, rendered is high percentage of acceptance of the information is higher if if visit if farm and visit is made on request the farmer is likely to be ready to learn if the farm and visit is made on the request of the farmer so the farmer is likely to be ready to learn more and more hmm? 
So the lastly, it is one of the best method for stay at home type of farmers, best suited for stay at home type of farmers. Kelongo Raitro, many will tell you Tairolo, Tamolato, Tamaniato, Tam Kelasato, other later. So it is one of the best method to reach such type of farmers, best suited for stay at home type of farmers. Then these are the limitations. Number of contacts possible is limited. Mm. So uh, you can hardly contact few farmers mm. individually. Contacting individual farmers is highly time consuming. Mm. So individual contact, mm. number of contacts possible is limited. Mm. It is very difficult to contact the farmers individually. Mm. Mm. All the farmers. Mm. Comparatively costly going and coming. Uh, farmers villages and their field cities costly method and comparatively more time consuming it requires mm, teaching for the farmers individually going to the village going to their farms teaching individually it is highly time consuming danger of concentrated visits to response you are progressive farmers usually the extension worker concentrate only on resourceful farmers resource rich farmers or respond response you farmers so the far right train martha usually extension worker so the other right train tell you so car the right train tell you do they are convenient arrangement martha rental so thereby you can develop you can neglect in the other farmers it leads to development of negative attitude in other farmers against the extension worker time of visit may not be always opportune opportune from the standpoint of so time of visit may not be always suited with the farmers the there may be uh, it is very difficult to fix the time hmm, of extension workers as well as meeting meeting time common for both so these are the some of the limitations so with this i am concluding this uh, this uh, farm and home visit so tomorrow we shall next we shall see the other individual contact methods that is a uh, uh, result demonstration and uh, form trial.